we're coming to the sixth and last uh, hallmark of design in my book, and that is man-centered features. Uh, this is a, a subject I teach at university uh, relating to ergonomics. Ergonomics is a very important subject, but often underappreciated. Uh, you may not know it, but uh, one of the most common designers of your car would have been an ergonomics person. Really being careful about the comfort of your seat, the, the layout of the cabin, the smoothness of surfaces, the man-machine interface, it's a really hard area. And if, if you have a very comfortable car, it's because someone's done a good job with ergonomics, but often it's their unsung uh, heroes. You get shapes right, sizes right, forces and surfaces. Well, I teach this subject, ergonomics. But when I look at our world, I see in our world, uh, it is designed. Uh, we, we live in a designer world. I'm going to talk about this for an entire uh, sermon tomorrow morning, um, twice apparently. Um, and I need to explain how the whole world is a designer world. Just to uh, give a summary for a couple of minutes uh, now, but God has filled this world with all the materials and items we need for man's use and man's comfort. One area I've published on is design of woods. Wood uh, is a, an amazing material. What's amazing about wood, it's not just uh, strong uh, and efficient, very good insulator, very abundant, very beautiful, but God has produced many types of trees to produce many different types of wood, very light woods, very heavy woods. Uh, if, you, if you need a hard wood, uh, God has made the mahogany tree. If you need a soft wood, he's made pine trees. A lot of English churches have scotch pine pews in them, uh, very good material. Um, if you need a strong wood, you can have oak. Uh, English oak is stronger than Scottish oak, by the way. Um, if, you need, if you need a really tough wood, if you want to play cricket, uh, you, you can use willow. I, I'm absolutely sure when God was designing the willow tree, he was thinking of cricket, right? Uh, the, wi the willow. If you want a sweet-smelling wood, there's the cedar. If you want a rot-resistant wood, you have the cypress. Uh, if you want a really light wood, you have balsa, heavy wood, lignum. God has even made some trees specifically for musical instruments. Spruce is a tree that you can use for musical instruments. There are some others. And absolutely, I believe God was thinking of that when he made those trees. He knew that man wanted to make these things, so he made an incredible variety of trees. You can say the same about metals. I'll talk about that tomorrow morning. But God has also designed fruit. In fact, uh, fruit and food and vegetables, the Bible actually says, I think it's Psalm 104, God made vegetation and fruit for the service of man and Genesis says that as well. God made fruit for man. Uh, but some of my engineering graduates go on to work for food companies. Um, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's quite an important career for some mechanical engineers. And what's, I've visited some of these companies, and they say that designing food is very difficult to get the packaging right, uh, to get the consistency of the food right if you're making yogurts or flans. Uh, it's, it shouldn't be too hard, it shouldn't be too soft, um, the nutrition must be right, the colour must be right. It's an incredibly difficult thing to do. When engineers look at fruit, they are so jealous because they think that is far better than anything engineers have produced or can produce or probably ever can produce. You look at something like a banana, it tells you when it's ripe. This one is just getting about right. Engineers can't do that. Engineers can't make a packaging that tells you when the fruit is right. Engineers, it's really hard to produce the packaging that's easy to get apart. This is so easy to get apart because you just pull it down like that. You can't do that with many uh, supermarket products. And then it's right, it fits in your hand, it's the right size, it has the right nutrition. These are the ultimate designer snacks. So we live in a world with many man-made uh, features. As I say, I have a whole sermon on that uh, tomorrow morning. 
and uh, I've published papers uh, particularly on design of trees. 